today I want to talk about one of my favorite plugins um, that a lot of folks use. So I have a blank copy of WordPress loaded here and um, I'm on the dashboard. I'm going to go over to plugins and this plugin can be found under the contact. We're going to do the contact form today and it can be found if you hit add new and it is under the popular. It's a very popular plugin. Lots and lots of themes use it. Lots of different um, opportunities with it. It's this contact form seven. So I'm going to go ahead and install this now. And with that, in addition to the contact form seven, I'm going to come over here and just, so I'm going to come over here and I just type the word database up here in the search form. And I'm looking for this contact form seven, contact form seven database add on. I really like this and I'm just going to kind of um, go ahead and install this and show you what it does because it what it does is anytime anybody fills out or anybody fills out your form on your contact form it puts it into a database so that you can see that later. So I'm going to hit um, activate there. And then another one that I'm going to add is a spam. And there's a lot of different spam filters out there. I've used a variety of them. And this one right here, this um, spam protect anti-spam um, firewall for clean talk. That's a pretty good one. Um, I've used that one in the past. That's one I've used, spam destroyer. There's a whole bunch of different ones. I actually had a client recently that used this anti-spam B and really liked it. So I'm just going to, for today, install that one too. I think it's important that you install some form of a spam filter. So um, pick which one. If you already have one on your website, that might be a good idea to add. And you'll see now I have a contact form. So we're going to go ahead and hit the contact form here. And I have a default one in here for you, and, and we'll start with the default, default one just because we can, so we'll hit edit. And you'll see here, it kind of looks coded, and um, there's some things about this that makes it a little bit more complicated, and I'll kind of show you the easy way that I handle um, do this. So you have to have the label, and then your name, and then so it says text, your name. And this text here, so between the brackets, is actually the box in which they load the um, what they type. And then there's a label here. So in the form creation, you have to have this little label code at the beginning and at the end. And it has to have this little code thing. So what's an easy way to handle this is so in this particular form, I wanted to get their name, their email. And I'm going to change this to sub to... Um, phone number okay and now I'm going to take out this thing that says your subject I'm going to delete everything in the bracket I'm going to come up here and hit telephone if I want them to be required to put in their telephone number I'm going to hit this required button and it's going to put a star in the piece of code okay if I want to I can use a default put in like 999-999 but then um, you know but if they don't or you can just leave it blank so we're just going to insert that tag and you see here it put in telephone and it has telephone number up here so now if I want to add something so I have they can leave they can write a message box on my thing but I want more information from them so what I'm doing is just copy that and I pasted it down here so I have the label and the label and now I can delete what's between the two labels. I'm going to copy that a couple of times so I can ask them lots of information here. And now up here I'm going to put in, so I've already got, we're using this format, your name and then the box that they're going to enter information in and then, then I put your email and then the box are going to add their email in their phone number and the box are going to put the phone number in now I want to put in address your mailing address we'll say okay let's just say that's what I want them to do because people may have a really long address really long mailing address so I want them to have a text area and not just one line. This one over here is text is one line. 
I'm going to hit text area. It's going to give them a lot of boxes. They have to put something in. I'm requiring that. And I'm going to put, instead of this area, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to say address. I'll show you why I'm doing that at a later point. We'll hit insert. So now I have your, your mailing address. And I have the text area that they're going to put in their mailing address. And I have a star. Down here, I'm going to put, um, let's say, some check boxes. And I don't know what these check boxes are doing. I'm just going to show you how to put check boxes in. So I'm going to return. And in front of this label, I don't really want to, in front of this label, I'm going to put check boxes. It's not going to be required. And it says put one option per line. Are you happy today? Oh, I can. Okay. Are you going to be happy later? And I, how are you? Okay. So I'm just going to put those in there so you can kind of see. And now it's got me these three choices, okay, of what they want to do. And last but not least, I'm going, I'm going to give you a little hint here. I don't ever use this date form, okay? If I want to put in a date, I use the text form. And the reason for that is because I've had a lot of problems on forms in the past where people, some people will put in 9 slash 20 slash 21. Somebody put 2021. Some people will put the 20 in front of the 9. It's just it's a big mess. Just have them type in whatever they want to put in, May, July. They can type whatever they want. You can figure out what the date means at that point if you want a date. So I'm just going to put date here. Capitalize that so it looks pretty on the form. And in front of this, I'm going to come in and just put text here and I'll put a date. Okay, there you go. And then they're going to leave me a message and they're going to hit the submit form. Okay, alrighty. So there's my form. Now I'm going to do something a little unique here. What I'm going to do is going to copy this whole form. Okay, your name, your date, your label, all this. I'm going to copy it. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next step. And this is important. I'm going to go over to where it says mail. And I'm going to look at this form. It's going to say, it's going to send an email that's to whoever the site admin email is. Okay, who is that? That's whatever you have is the email in settings. That who is that's who's going to get this. Another email here if you wanted. Just by doing that, okay? So that's that's an option, okay? If you wanted to put that in it. But right now it's just going to go to the admin email. It's from, okay, the site title. What is it from? Right now it's called my blog, okay? And then it's see this code right here this is saying it's going to the email is going to generate from wordpress and at the domain you don't want to touch that okay my subject is okay so we're going to go the site title up here not going to touch that down here it's going to have my subject is going to be my blog that's the site title and then i'm going to add a note in here this is your website this is important this is an email that's coming from my website okay what I'm going to do down here, this is important, I'm going to take out this text and I'm going to paste, except for the submit, I don't need the submit button. And I'm going to come over here, go to my mail, and I'm going mail. And down here in the message to me, I'm going to paste this whole thing. Now I'm going to take out the label, and I'm going to take out this part up here. So the boxes need to match this up here. See that text isn't there. See these boxes up here? So I want to take out this part of it and take out this part of it. So it just has your name, your name, your email, your email, telephone number, and they have to match exactly like these up here. So I want to take out this. 
Okay, and I want to take out all these labels. I don't want, I don't need my email to say label. Okay, and down here on the check boxes, you're going to see where it says check box up here at the top, check box 968. That's the only thing that I need in this bottom one. So delete all of this down to that bracket. Now if you make a mistake and delete something, you can always copy from up here and copy down if you make a mistake. I've done that a billion times. Okay, so now I have... Okay, so up here, your name, your email, telephone number, text area, and check boxes. That's the only thing I got over here. Let's go over here. We're going to save that. Okay, so I'm not worried about that configuration error because I know what that was. So now I have the email. It's got my, your name, your email, your telephone number, your text area, and your check boxes. And now I have. So my email is going to come to me. It's going to say your name, and that's going to have whatever they filled in the box. Your email, whatever they filled in the box. Telephone number, whatever they put in the box. The mailing address, whatever they filled in that box. Whatever check boxes they did, and then the date. Okay, that's what's going to come to me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now, up at the top, you'll see there's a link, there's a, what they call short code. See this code up here? So you, if I want this form to go somewhere, I have to use this short code and go over here to pages. And we'll just go to an untitled page here that I've created. And um, I am not, I'm using the Gutenberg um, editor, so I'm just going to hit add and I'm looking for short code there's the short code box and now all I have to do is paste this short code into this box okay and then I have to hit update okay and now I'm going to view the page it's updated it it's going to have a little video at the top which I did in another video and below it is going to have a form. And I want to fill the form out with all my information. I'm going to put in more address in here for whatever. But you can see I have a, a big selection of type I, a space I can type. There you go. And now it's going to ask me, I can fill out a checkbox. Are you happy today? I can do all the checkboxes. And today's date. I'm making this video on 923 of 2021 and I hit submit. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to my blog, my dashboard. And what's going to happen, and the reason I loaded that second plugin is down here where it says contact forms, it created a database for me. So if I hit contact forms, and you'll see under contact form, I have one entry. And if I pick it, it's going to have that my name or whatever and the date. Okay, there it is. So it's going to save all that stuff. I can export it as a, as a CSV file. I can do whatever I want with that. Or I can really say, oh, that was a junk one and I want to delete it, which you can do by picking here and hitting a delete or marking it as red or whatever. So it's going to create a database of every one of those forms that get filled out. Now, um, the forms automatically go to you, and, um, and they're going to come to you in the form of an email. And so when somebody fills out the form, the email will come to you, and you're going to get it in your email. And I'm going to pull this over here real quick and show you your name, my Misty Lambrick, your email, there it is, my phone number, right there. This is exactly what I, and these are the check boxes that I checked. Information. Um, sometimes, um, let me get out of that, but there is some additional settings you can do. But here's the messages that they will receive, you know, if something happened and it didn't go through or some other problem that they had, and it'll fill in that box for you. The telephone number is invalid, the URL is invalid, the email address is invalid. There's all kinds of messages that they'll get based on whatever um, problem they had while filling out the form. So um, that's just a quick video on using Contact Form 7 in addition to this Contact Form database. 
I highly recommend you add a spam filter if you decide to use this plugin. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. I have a lot of different videos on plugins and basic WordPress things that um, you might want to use for your WordPress website under my how to's. Um, subscribe and follow and you'll get more um, videos as they come out. Thanks.